Hello, my name is John Patrick Morgan and uh, I just want to share a little perspective with you that can help you to increase your leverage, especially if you're an entrepreneur. Well, for anybody really, but le entrepreneurs are interested in leverage. I'm an entrepreneur. I love leverage. Um, and one of the best ways to leverage your business is to work on your business, not in your business. Uh, if you're watching this video, maybe you already know what that means, but it's about uh, not just going about the day-to-day -day tasks in your business, but actually stepping back and looking at how are your systems set up, what systems are you using, what are you delegating, what could you be delegating better, what are all your different departments doing, that kind of stuff. Thinking about the big picture and doing work to implement new structures, coming up with the strategies and the ideas and implementing them. That's working on your business, not just in your business, not just the machine functioning, but working on the machine, bringing the race car into the pit and actually working on it, or into the shop and actually tuning up and or increasing the horsepower of the engine, like that. And so that's an idea that entrepreneurs are pretty familiar with and it kind of makes sense so you make time to do it because you understand that it's a high priority because there's a lot of leverage in working on your business, not just in your business. And that's how you're going to grow it and scale it. And so I think about working on myself the same way. I want to work on myself, not just in myself. And so what does it mean to work in myself? Well, that means to just be the person that I am, unconsciously, habitually, and go about my every day, hoping things will get better just on their own. Like, maybe I'll just act differently this time instead of out of habit, because I have the idea that I could or I should. Very unlikely, just knowing something consciously in the forefront of our mind because we read something in a book or we heard it once or we just saw a new perspective, that doesn't usually radically shift behavior. And so I'm just continuing to function in myself, as myself, every single day unless I actually slow down, stop, and work on myself. And so what does it mean to work on yourself versus in yourself or as yourself? To work on yourself means to pause and be quiet and be still and, and, and self-reflect like how much time do you sit sitting in an armchair just thinking about yourself and your life, right? That's like, it's really uncommon for people to do that now, nowadays because we're too busy, we have too many, too many things we need to do with this body and this mouth, and so we don't stop to work on the body and mouth, we just work in the body and mouth and let it keep speaking. Now, if you're in good physical shape, then you stop and work on your physical body, and that's great, that's working on yourself, not just in yourself but you also want to do it with your mind, the actual self, not just the body of yourself, but the actual self in the sense of the construct of your identity, the patterns of your psychology and your emotions. You can work on that, you can tune it up, you can improve the way it functions, and that's basically what I do. That's my life, that's my commitment, that's what self-mastery means to me. It's not mastering the whole body and different aspects and things, it's actually mastering the idea, concept, the self-concept, mastering that mastering who I think I am. That's what I help people to do in conversation. That's what all of my content teaches you how to do. And so doing it, for me, is the highest possible point of leverage in anything, any business, any area of your life, any relationship, the highest point of self-leverage, uh, uh, sorry, the highest point of leverage in any system that you're engaged in is actually who you think you are, your patterns and your habits. It's because you are the highest point of leverage in that system. So if you're running a company, the highest point of leverage is at the top, and then, but inside you and your brain is an even higher point of leverage because that's where the actions and behaviors that come from you, that body, are. And so if you want leverage, exponentially greater leverage, you want to actually work on the unconscious conditioning of your being. You become more relaxed spontaneously and automatically in situations where you're usually stressed out and suddenly you're automatically handling things more effectively. If you become more able to sell because the way that you think about selling has transformed in such a way where you no longer avoid it but move towards it, where you enjoy conversations that before were uncomfortable to you, you change who you are and you've created massive leverage in your life. Then how do you do that? You work on yourself, not in yourself. How do you work on yourself? Well, welcome to my world. Subscribe to my channel. Watch my videos. Subscribe to my emails where I summarize the videos in really short pieces of text. Join the creating school where we teach live classes. Become a client of mine and let me help you master your idea of yourself so you can be more effective and efficient and chilled out and enjoying your life. But most of all, take this concept and work on yourself, not just in yourself. Prioritize it. In the same way you might with your business, working on it, not just in it. That's what I had for you. Thank you so much for being here. I love you. I'll talk to you soon. Bye for now.